Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Very nice to see you and nice to be back here shaving. Uh, some new products today um, that I've not used before. Uh, I'll show you the brush first. I recently got a, a mail call from Frank Shaving and they sent me a couple of brushes uh, and this is the one I'm going to be using today. This is a synthetic brush. Uh, there's the knot there. Yeah, very, very soft actually. Uh, I love the handle. It's a kind of keyhole shape. It has these ridges here. Uh, there's the colours. Yeah, very nice. All the way from China, but uh, we'll be okay. I have washed this thoroughly. I've washed the knot out, so uh, everyone should be safe from uh, the coronavirus. <coughs> Bless you. Um, <laughs> right, so uh, that's the brush I'm going to be using. Yeah, very nice. I like it. I really like that brush. Uh, the razor is a new one from Global Shave uh, from Sheldon, uh, and this is the uh, Storm two-piece razor. Here it's here. Yeah, nice knurling on the handle. Let me just get that off. Yeah, you can see it there. Uh, uh, two-piece razor. Kind of looks like the Edwin Jagger head D89. Um, yeah, so you twist the bottom uh, and the head comes off. Kind of like a Merker 34C. Uh, there's the top cap there. There it is there. Now this razor weighs in at 105 grams or 3.7 ounces and the handle length is roughly about in between three, three and a half and four inches. Good weight to it, nice knurling. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Inside that I'm going to be putting a Gillette 7 o'clock black. I've used this twice. So this is its third use. So we'll get that loaded up um, into this razor. So the blade just goes on the top cap like that. There it is there. It's like 7 o'clock black, super platinum. Um, you put that into there. The only thing I don't like, I wish this thread was longer, but um, that's just a minor gripe on my part. So you twist the bottom here uh, and that tightens it all down. And let's just check the blade alignment. All looks good. Yeah, there it is there. Looks great. Okay, so that's the razor and the brush. Uh, I'm going to be using a very cheap cream today. Actually, I don't know if I could, I've had a look for this online, but I can't find it. Um, it probably is available somewhere. Uh, this is Supermax Ultimate uh, 3 with aloe vera, vitamin E, and tea tree oil. Uh, you can see that at the end there. Yeah, I take this um, when I'm traveling, or sometimes I did, when I, I went to the States once, um, and I took this, and it was great. I loved it. Um, so I'm going to be using that today. Yeah, just a basic cream. I think you could get this in some different other scents. I'm going to be bowl lathering in the Rocco Contini bowl. Uh, there's the bottom there. And can you see what's happened here? Yeah, I dropped it and the handle came off. But I've glued it back on and it's uh, solid, so it should be fine. Yeah, I've used it since. Um, yeah, I just clipped the edge of the sink and the handle came off, but I've glued it back on so it's fine. Uh, nice ridges in there. Rocco Contini is a, an Italian wet shaver. He makes these bowls. I'm not sure if he's still making them actually. Um, Rocco, if you see this, you could uh, be able to tell us if you're still making these bowls. Right, let's put some of this cream into the bowl. Uh, just... I'll put some in the bottom there. Yeah, the good thing about this cream is it looks, I don't know whether that's coming across, very silky. So I'll just put the lid back on that. There's the cream. Right, let's uh, get this brush. We'll put in some water. Give it a couple of shakes. Wow, look at that. <laughs> that looked really full of fibres there, but I've wetted it and it's kind of just. The fibres have disappeared. <laughs> right, well, we'll give it a go and see how it goes. Right, so. Yeah, it's a, it's a basic scent, but it's very nice. It's, it's very nice, a basic scent, very nice. Yeah, you can smell the, um, you can smell the aloe vera and the tea tree. It's not a strong scent, but it's, uh, it's a good cream. Right, so this brush is uh, whipping up, no problem. Yeah, so how are you all doing? How are you coping with the uh, coronavirus? Um, 
We've had some cases of it in Scotland and the UK. I think it's I think it's it's going to be worldwide, isn't it? But um, some <laughs> some people are just uh, yeah going off the off the scale. I seen a, a photograph of someone in the London Underground with a like a plastic box, a whole plastic box over their head, just because they couldn't get a, a face mask. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. But if that protects them and it stays safe, yeah, so why not? Yeah, this cream's easy ladder. Very easy, look, you can see it there. Right, I'm good to go. Don't uh, smash the bowl again, Kevy. No, I won't. Yeah, so how are you doing? Are you good? Saturday again. Time for a shave. Just wet the whiskers. We'll get this uh, cream going. Yeah, it's a nice scent. I like the scent of this. It's, uh, it's clean, inoffensive. A bit like myself. Clean and inoffensive. <laughs> yeah, right. When's the last time you've been clean? What are you trying to say? I'm inoffensive. <laughs> no, you're trying to say I am fit. <laughs> That's him standing there. Yeah, you get me all mixed up. Wow, well, they're flying everywhere. Yeah, this brush is very soft. As I say, just a, a basic cream. Does the job that you need it to do, so. That's all I'm looking for. Right, let's get a, you know, I'm not shaving, sh shaving? I'm not shaving your ears today, I'm not shaving your ears. You can tell it's uh, Kevy's on his game. That's what I, my, my mum used to say that to me when I was a kid, if I was uh, mucking about and playing the fool. Oh you, you're on your game tonight. Right, here we go with the um, Storm two-piece razor from Global Shave with the Gillette Black. Seven o'clock black. Good blade, good blade. Yeah, I have to say that um, Global Shave put out a lot of razors, <laughs> but um, someone said before they're putting out too much razors, but I think it's good. It's good for um, wet shaving community. You know, it gives people choice. Very light touch here. Yeah, it feels nice, you can feel the, you can hear the feedback. Yeah, it gives people um, choice. I mean, recently I've been using um, very high end razors. They're not for everyone. People like to. Well, they spend the money how they can, how they want to, but um, these razors just um, give people more choice. That's very comfortable, actually. Very comfy. Just going to see if there's any overhang. Yes, there is a, a little bit of the sides there, you can see. Just sticking out the end. It feels similar to the uh, Merca 34C. Maybe 
maybe a, a tad more efficient. A tad. You know, on the on the scale of these, more efficient. It's a tad. I don't know. Right, first pass done. Feels very nice. That cream's great. Okay, let me rinse. I'll come back for pass number two. Rinsed off, back for the second pass, yeah. I've said this before, these um, cheap creams, like the, this one and, and the, the European ones that are kind of really cheap and uh, they're easy to get in that country, not so widely available over here, but the slickness on them is great. The residual slickness, I've got one little dot there. Yeah, feels really good. Okay, back to this brush and the bowl. I'll just gather some more cream here. Looks good. Scent strength on this is um, probably about a five. This brush has um, no backbone in it at all. It's very, very soft, but great for creams. I really like the handle, this um, psychedelic colours, yeah. I really like that. Okay. Okay, back to the uh, Storm Razor from Global Shade. Yeah, good knurling on this. I have uh, wet hands here and it's not moving at all, so very good. What's your weekend plans then? Nice! It's uh, It's afternoon as I film this. Early afternoon. But it's getting uh, lighter at night. The daylight's getting longer, which is great. I feel it was really comfortable. Yeah, maybe it's the blade, I don't know, but the razor feels really nice as well. Uh, no harshness in it at all. It's good weight, good balance. I like the weight of it, it's good. Yeah, let's cause little weepers here. Yeah, all these uh, Global Shave have, um, they're all named after kind of weather things like Ice, storm, rain. Yeah, look, a couple of weavers. Nothing to worry about. Okay, second pass done. Oh, oh, that feels fantastic. Honestly, there's hardly anything left there. Right, we'll go for the third pass. I'll rinse off and I'll come back and we'll start that. Okay, rinsed off. Yeah, I was just looking at the, uh, the packaging of this. And I don't know whether you can see that there. Is that coming? Can you see that on camera? It says, um, uh, you probably won't be able to see it. It says manufactured in Bulgaria, uh, manufactured for Supermax Limited, Feltum, uh, UK. So Supermax is a UK company. I thought they were um, Indian, but no. You maybe, you maybe is that coming? There we go. Manufactured in Bulgaria, and there it is. There, look. So that's it. Right. Let's uh, 
back to this brush. Yeah, not much backbone in this, but super, super soft. If you want a soft brush, uh, there's a little fiber. If you want a soft brush, like for whipping up creams and stuff like that, feels really nice on the face, but no real backbone to speak of. Making sure I've got enough coverage here for the against the growth packs. That cream, you can't moan about that. Right, storm two piece against the growth. Very nice. Yeah, the weepers here. Thank you for all the comments on the uh, last video, which I can't even remember what it was. It was the. Uh... No. What was the last video? <laughs> I can't honestly remember. That was the, uh, was it the... Was it the Smart Helix Apollo Light? It might have been. And I've been tagged, again, uh, from a couple of people actually, for a second chance, uh, wet shaving second chance product. Uh, there's a few videos being came out with uh, people doing them. So I'll, uh, I still have that to film. I was thinking to myself, I don't know what, what I would use because if I don't like something, I'll usually give it away or sell it or move it on in some kind of way. So I was thinking, um, what am I going to use? But um, I've thought of a, I've thought of at least one thing I can use. Yeah, I don't think I've seen anyone use a hedge cutter for shaving. Um, I'm going to back up. <laughs> a hedge cutter. <laughs> Right, let me rinse in uh, three passes, we'll see if there's anything needed picked up. Cold water. Wow, there's a tiny little bit there. Feels good. So just the usual spots. Right, so here's a question. Why would you buy this razor if you already have a 34C? Well, for a start, it's, uh, it's heavier than the 34C. It's, it's slightly more efficient. Um, if you're looking for something with just a little bit more efficiency, that will maybe give you a closer shave or
but it is just as comfortable to use as a 34C. Excellent. There's always a one spot over here for I kind of miss because I usually feel like this and there's a bit always over here. But still um, plenty of slickness in that cream. Yeah, just that one bit down there. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to keep my face wet and apply some alum. So let's rinse the face with cold water. Right, so here's the alum block. I like uh, this one. I don't tend to drop it half as much as just a normal block. Just run that under the top. Right. Nothing down there so far. Yeah, a little bit down here. It's always on this little trouble spot where these little uh, weepers are. But, um, that's the only place. Sorry about that, the uh, the camera, uh, <laughs> the memory card was full, so I just had to delete a couple of things, so back, yeah. Uh, so as I was saying, just a little bit of um, feedback from the alum down here, but nothing else really to speak of. Feels good, and a little bit, a little bit around here. Okay, uh, let me just quickly rinse this off and then I'll have a face wash with the remainder of the lather. Cold water again. Good. Let's see how much lather's left in this brush. Plenty of lather. Right, you know the drill, I'll have a face wash with this. I'll rinse out my gear, I'll wash this off with cold Scottish water, and I'll see you for the post shave. For the post shave. <laughs> Yeah, not a good shave. Okay, on to the post shave. Um, I've not used this for a while, so I'm using it today. Uh, this is Mersol Formula C. This has like a, a violet scent, quite a floral thing, so um, just I've not used it for a long time, so I thought, why not? Let's use it. Good stuff, Mersol. A lot of bit of sting. More so down here. Nice shave. And I'm going to finish it off with some, again, um, very cheap uh, aftershave balm, uh, EAD post shave balm. Good stuff, kind of like Nivea, but it's a, it's a little bit thicker. Similar kind of scent, and you don't need much there, is there? I can feel the menthol in the uh, formula C. Cooling my skin. Yeah, similar scent to Nivea. Similar, not exactly the same, but um, it's in the same ballpark. <laughs> you carry in your Americanisms. <laughs> There we go. Nice, nice, comfortable shave. Yeah, it looks a little, little red down here, doesn't it, on the neck? I don't know what that is, because it feels fantastic. Yeah, it's like a little rash. It's not hot or sore or anything. But, um, I don't know. Who knows? It'll probably, within 10 minutes, it'll, it'll be gone and uh, it'll be fine. Right, let me show you what we use today in this uh, nice, wonderful, fantastic shave. <laughs> I don't know why I made that face there. Sorry, Riley, I didn't mean to make that face. Um, okay, the, the uh, razor is the Global Shave Storm two-piece razor. Um, nice knurling on the handle, done the job, no problem, very comfortable, good weight to it, good balance. 
two piece razor like the 34C, uh, this top part comes off, put the razor on, screw it back down on the bottom there. Yeah, nice razor. I'll put links for everything uh, and you can go and check everything out. See if anything catches your eye. That was the razor. Inside that was a Third Juice Gillette 7 o'clock black. The cream we used today was Supermax Ultimate Aloe Vera Vitamin E and Tea Tree Oil. Great cream, very good. Easy to lather, very easy to lather. Uh, we lathered it up in the Rocco Contini shaving bowl. Very good. You see the handle's still there. Isn't super glue a wonderful thing? <laughs> Um, yeah, whip the cream up, no problem, very good. Nice scent to it, nothing too intrusive, just a, a nice uh, standard cream that does the job. The brush, fantastic, I really like this. I really like the handle. The knot, I'm not so keen on, but uh, the handle's fantastic. From Frank Shaving, uh, synthetic knot. Not much backbone, well, hardly any backbone actually. It's very springy, but very, very soft. Uh, ideal for creams. Um, just whipping them up, no problem. But uh, a nice brush, I really like this handle. This, uh, this psychedelic colours, very very nice. Frank Shaving logo there, good, good brush. Um, we had three passes, a couple of weepers here, here, <laughs> down here. So we used the Allen block. Uh, then I had a rinse off, face wash, rinse that off with cold water. Post shave was Mersal Formula C, like a violet. If you have Wickham's Parma Violet, this is the stuff you need. This matches it perfectly. Um, and then finished it off with EAD Post Shave Balm, similar to Nivea, a little bit thicker, similar sort of scent, but very good. And that is the result. There we go. Yeah, skin feels really soft. Really soft, yeah, look, that's uh, coming down already. Okay, uh, that's all from me for today. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you again for your continued support. Um, I've got some new products to show you. I've bought some new stuff. Um, I've also been sent some stuff that I will uh, show you in upcoming videos. Um, I want to use something in relation to something else. Um, I want to use something to tell you guys about something. Some of you might know what it is, but uh, all will be explained in the next two or three weeks. Um, right, okay, I'll, uh, the next video, fingers crossed, hopefully will be the wet shaving second chance tag video. Um, I hope to get that done and filmed uh, as soon as possible. So um, that will probably be the next video. All going well, you never know. I never like to commit to these things because um, and say, I'll put a video out on this day or that day because things happen and plans change and uh, you know what it's like. Anyway, have a fantastic weekend, uh, spend it with loved ones and I hope you're relaxing, I hope you're having some fantastic shaves, using some great, great products. Uh, as long as they work for you, don't let anyone say anything else. Uh, that won't work, that's crap, don't use that, don't buy that. If it works for you, that's great, that's all you need to know. Okay, I'll see you in the next shave video. <laughs> the next shave video? Yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, until then, take care. I was going to say take care of yourselves. Take care of yourselves. See ya. <laughs>